Uh, you don't look too happy. Uh. Mr. Blue Pinger don't look happy at all. Wire traps go on baits instead of tie strapping them in because tie strapping them in was a waste of money. I was lo losing too much money. So you see the door? Open up the door. I grab my baits. Throw the baits aside. Snap the door shut. That's it. Pretty simple. No stress. But I like doing things the simple way. This is a line holder for a kite, which works very, very well with, with this type of line. because of a storm coming through. Buddy there, that's it. And this system I got is pretty cool. Double ring metal cabinet with a tight line holder. In the nets, I'm using these metal bait canisters. I got a Charlie's fishing supply downtown Honolulu. Cut up some calamari. Feel the bait. And it works. They're getting quite a few crabs so far. Okay, time to help them again. Nope. And this one. Check out the other one. Got one on this one. Come on, go through the bump. Yeah, right into my net. All right, well, at least I got one in that one. That's cool. Okay, time to check our crab nets again. Got two so far. Ho, 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 ho. Ah, oh, the little one got out. But not this one. Yeah. The little one got out. Oh, well. Now we're up to three. Woohoo! Now we're up to four. Not bad so far. Got four in squid. And with the protective cages, they're protecting my bait from getting stolen. Let's see if this one got any. Oh, that's a big one. Look at the size of that one. It's got five. Man, that is huge. Wow, they can trip the doors. The door was tripped on that. And there's the bait. Okay. Let's see if I can stick my hand in there while I'm getting it pinched off. Yeah, this might be a little bit more typical than I thought. Wow! Okay, time to get tweezers. Keeping crabs alive is very easy. They just need just a tiny bit of water to stay moist, just like that. It's good enough. Well, maybe a little more. But generally, I like to use towels, burlap, and wet it down and just put them on it, and, it, and it'll work that way. I use my little small hand net because they got claws. I hate getting pinched <laughs> when I handle them.
Okay, we're gonna set up my second rig. It's an 11 foot Okuma steelhead. Love this rod, fantastic rod. And on it, I got a uh, Shimano Stratic 4000 CI4 with 30 pound test Spectra Power Pro. Same line as I have on that one. So let's see now, we got, we're defrosting a crab that I got here before. Doesn't matter if it's, I mean, live works the best, but frozen is fine. They've, they've hidden frozen here. So this shows that they're not particular. So what you do is I go into the legs, between the legs, and I come out to the top. And when you come out to the top, put your thumb there to brace it like so, so you can make a clean break like that. That's all you have to do. Very simple. I'm going to set the other one out. This is my tried and true bait for Westlock. Because when you examine the stomach contents of the fish here, the, the trevallis, they have crab in it. That's why a lot of the trevallis here are yellow, is from the fat content of the crab. And we're just going to easily swing this one out. And that's it. Set this up. Put my tagline on it. Tighten up here. Yeah, look at that. This one needs to be tightened up a little bit more. And we are set. See which one hits first. The, the crab, which we know always works here, or the halaloo, which is a special treat for these guys here. See what happens. <laughs> 